My grandparents started this when they came from Italy, and it was in 1922. It was on the west side of town, and it was a grocery store, and they had a house in the back, and they lived in the back of the house, and that's where it all started from. And from that point, my father came in and kind of took it over and started his own bar at 21, and then he added pizza about 1940s or 45. So he took it further than that. He just accelerated it up. And then over time, I took it over when he was ailing and things were kind of going bad. And I was living in Austin, Texas at the time. So I decided I'm going to go there and do that. So then I took it to the next scale. And that's where we're at today. So that started in 1922. So yeah, next year we'll be, uh, Leo's will be, have a banner out front of a building for the next hundred years. It, it's huge history, all these people. See, my grandfather worked for the railroad. That's his mechanic's license right there, his machinist's license. All these little knickknacks and all this stuff up here, mm -hmm. these all came from the old store. Oh. These are original cases from the old store. I used to roll out the pizza crust. As soon as I hit tall enough to hit a table, they had you working. That's all there is to it. Yeah. From using that thing, holy cow, you didn't have to go work out. We pride ourselves on Southern Italian food, but we have a big menu. We have an American menu too. But all our recipes are from my grandma. The sausage, the meatballs, the sauces. We make everything from scratch here, lasagnas. I mean, very, very labor intensive. We hardly buy anything in here frozen. We make it all from scratch. The pizza dough, the, everything. So we, 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 we really try to do our best to keep that tradition going. And I make all the old spice bags. Nobody knows the recipes. I make them all myself. Nobody knows what's in them. All they do is add the basis to them. So I make all, nobody knows. They're in my lockbox. My kids, my kids will have them if they want them. But otherwise, I, I do all the spices. Nobody knows the recipes to anything, except for me. No, you gotta have a passion for this thing. And, and, and my employees really take care of our customers. So yeah, that, that's the pride of everything, keeping your building up nice, keeping things good, keeping your quality right, and having your customers come in and really appreciate that. By far the lasagna, and then all our Italian fare, basically. And our portions are huge. So if you leave here hungry, that's your own fault. I mean, it really is. That's your own fault. So we have that, but we have an American fare too. You know, we have our steaks and you know, and our shrimp, and we have all that stuff too. But basically, it's mostly all our pastas awesome. and different things. And then we do a lot of catering. People buy a lot of our lasagnas and chicken bakes. We do a chicken alfredo bake, which is wonderful. So is a lasagna. So we do a lot of catering that way. They come in, they pick up things, you know, so. In our breads, the fresh bread, when they say in the morning, you just smell that and you're just like, wow. And it's great. I pull it out of the oven, we just break it apart, put butter on it and eat it. I know you shouldn't do it. But the breads have no eggs, no milk, no sugar, no egg, anything in it. It's just water and yeast and flour. It's the way they put it together. My grandmother used to do this in a great big tank, you know, one of the water troughs, 50 pounds at a time. And she'd need that. You didn't mess with those old Italian women. I mean, they were like bricks. And they'd pick it up and put it on the radiator, a little radiator heat. And they'd raise it, they'd take it down again, and they'd punch it down again. So there, it's a process to make it taste that way. When COVID first hit and they shut us down completely, we, we could only do carryouts. This community came together for every restaurant out there because they hit the hospitality first and they hit us hard. And I'm very fortunate because I've got a lot of friends that didn't make it. 
But this community stood up and they patronized us very well to keep us going. And I'm very thankful for that. I'd like to invite everybody to come in and enter for a drawing for a gift card. This is sponsored by Fidelity Bank, and I appreciate everything they're doing for us. Thank you.